So I've already done some testing with the performance of the NVIDIA RTX 3050 but I was also curious to test the performance with DLSS and DLSS is a NVIDIA trademark so you can only use this with NVIDIA graphics card and it only works with the newer 30 series graphics cards as well. So what is DLSS? Uh, it's basically that we are now playing at 1080p but uh, the game is rendered at the lower resolution and the lower resolutions uh, doesn't have as many pixels for the graphics card to render therefore we can get better performance because we are putting less strain on the GPU. So DLSS is machine learning and needs to be implemented into the game by the developers so older games probably doesn't have uh, DLSS support and also maybe smaller studios and such maybe doesn't have the money and such to implement it into their game so they have like analyzed the game and for the tensor cores to work and the tensor cores in your GPU is then guessing what uh, should be between the rendered pixels and the like full display uh, that we get at 1080p so we are maybe rendering at 720p and then the tensor cores are guessing in between like the pixels to then give me a 1080p so comparing it to playing at a native 1080p uh, it maybe is worse quality but it shouldn't be as bad as playing in like 720p and you got uh, four different modes Ultra performance, performance, uh, balanced and quality. So these are like uh, different steps of how aggressive it should be. And going from ultra performance, you are like getting a worse visual qualities. Uh, but then you also get higher frame rates and then going up to quality. Uh, you will have lower frame rates, but the image will be closer to the native resolution and therefore the performance will be worse. So the 3050 graphics card isn't the strongest, but we can still in 1080p play most games in ultra and high. But this is maybe nice if you want to use a higher resolution or be able to have uh, higher frame rates in 1080p if you're like playing at higher settings is also a nice thing and also i think it's good for future proofing into the future when games get heavier to render and such uh, it will have a graphics card that will last longer yeah the visual quality won't be as good as native resolution but in all honesty testing here I wouldn't really notice too much of a difference, uh, if any difference at all, when playing from using the native resolution or using the DLSS.